Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome to my first squad builder of FIFA 15. Now today's squad builder is going to be a bit on the cheaper side, running you about 30k and overall I really did enjoy this squad, especially the forwards. The forwards in this team are just absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the squad. Now our goalie is going to be Kiko Kasiya, who for me was a pretty solid goalie if I have to be honest. I mean this guy is 6'3 with 82 diving, 79 reflexes, 81 handling, 78 kicking, and 80 positioning. Overall, I mean those stats look absolutely great for a goalie that I paid 800 coins for and overall he was a pretty solid goalie now moving on to our defenders we have a very solid lot of uh, back four so our right back we have Mario Fernandez who was pretty overpowered last game you know this guy was in everybody's Russian League squad linking up with Hulk and I mean he has solid pace on him, solid dribbling, uh, excuse me, not solid dribbling, solid defending and physical, so overall it looks like a pretty great right back. Then moving on to our two center backs, Laporte and Inigo Martinez. I mean, Inigo Martinez on the faster side, great defending, also great physical, but Laporte looks like he's going to be one of the one of the best center backs to use in FIFA 15. I mean, even though he has 67 pace, I mean, 83 defending and 80 physical looks absolutely great with many, many work rates. He's going to be a fantastic player to use. And then Kur, uh, Kurzawa, this guy was a very very solid uh, left back. I mean, great pace on him, great defending and physical. Overall, just a pretty solid uh, card all around. Now, moving on to the midfielders, we have Matuidi Quintero and Javi Garcia. So, let's go ahead and start with Matuidi, who was one of my favorite players to use in FIFA 14. I mean, this guy's high, high work race. He pretty much does everything that you need a midfielder to do. I mean, he has great pace on him. He has some uh, great defending and physical on him. Solid dribbling and passing, which is what I love. And you can occasionally uh, make a shot with him as well. I didn't make one in this squad, but this guy is very good for it, though. Javi Garcia will also play the CM role great as well. I mean, even though he's lacking in pace, this guy's uh, defending and physical definitely didn't make up for it. Managed to score me a goal as well. And overall, it's a pretty solid player. And finally, Quintero was the maestro of the midfielder, if you ask me. I mean, he has some solid pace on him. He managed to score me a goal, and I think he got seven assists, which is pretty damn good because he got an assisted game. And overall, I really did enjoy this guy. Four-star skill was two-star weak for this guy. Just as overpowered as he was in the last FIFA. Now, moving on to the big guys, we have our forwards. Let's go ahead and start with the wingers. So, first, we're going to be talking about Lavetsi. Lavetsi was absolutely insane. Even though he got downgraded, I personally could not tell. I mean, this guy still has some good pace on him, good dribbling. Four star skill was a weak foot, and his shooting is still great, if you ask me. You know, I definitely could not tell that they downgraded his shooting, and his passing was also pretty solid. Now, on to the other winger, we have Hulk, who for me was. He was he was okay, you know, nothing too extravagant. I don't know, maybe it's just because I don't play it on the right side too much. But I mean, this guy did manage to score me two goals, which I mean isn't horrible. But I was kind of expecting more with 87 shooting. But I don't know, it's probably just the way that I played. I will try this guy out in the future squad and see if my future opinion changed. But this guy is still definitely strong. Even with the pace downgrade, you know, he was still a pretty great player to use. And finally, the big player, Jackson Martinez. This guy was the best player of the squad. Absolutely insane great pace on him his strength was absolutely insane his four star skill was in weak foot and his shooting felt higher than 71 i mean my god this guy is a finishing monster this guy could even score you some goals outside the box and overall was a very excellent player definitely my favorite player in the squad but nevertheless, guys, this is the squad. Let me know what you guys think of the squad builder down below. Let me know any changes that you would make. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the goals. Peace.